Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy A Aaron joined by. I don't know. What's going on? Right, his first vlog. You guys saw him in the last video. Yeah. Shrugi. Hey, guys. Is... What's going on, guys? It's your boy Travis. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to be talking about anyway. A school, specifically here in Pensacola, Florida, the command is NASI. Na Naval Aviation <laughs> <laughs> Technical <laughs> Training Center. Stop sidetracking! Stop sidetracking. Sounding name, yes. Stop Stop sidetracking. Special name. Yep, it's a special name, sounds exactly like Nazi, yes, we all know that. Very fun. So anyway guys, uh, getting into the video about A school. Um, when you guys get here, you will be in indoc status, which means you're going to get made fun of. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. Easily. So when you guys get here, when you guys come off of the bus, you guys are going to go into the uh, Nazi quarter deck. Uh, that's where you're going to meet the OOD and possibly even the uh, the CO, um, Captain Decker. I met him my first night here. He's chill. He's awesome. Uh, when you guys meet Chaps during your indoc period. Yeah, when chaps you guys is awesome. Indoc, cool. yeah. Everybody loves Chaps. Everybody loves Chaps. Um, just main thing, you know, when you guys first get here, don't let these guys punk you, especially if you come to G Dub, <laughs> because they will try and punk you as soon as you walk up. Like you're gonna have forty dudes sitting outside in the smoke pit going, "Hey, bro, hey, 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 what's your rate, guy? What's your rate, guy? What's your rate?" If you're anything except for AOs or AMs, you're gonna get made fun of. Like here, literally, they put me against the wall, and I'm sitting there waiting because you're gonna be doing when you get here. Like you're gonna have to like go through the Nazi quarter deck. Do copies of your orders, all that junk. And then, <laughs> then they're gonna separate you by rates. Then they're gonna be like, all right, so you guys are going to this barracks. You guys are going to this barracks. You guys are homeless. Like it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, they kick people out. So like AOs, who, who who all's in G Dubs? Uh, AOs, PRs, AMs, ADs, ASs. Yes. Uh, so basically, a few, rates. Rates. A, few, a few rates. A few rates, essentially. So y'all are gonna grab your seat bags. Y'all are gonna like march like the long. It's gonna feel like the longest freaking way all the way here. You're gonna throw all your bags everywhere in the quarter deck. You're gonna start all your paperwork. You're gonna be assigned a room and all that. Everybody's gonna be punking you as soon as you're coming in. Don't let them don't punk let them you. punk you. Mm -hmm. Whatever they went through it. If anything, fire back. But listen, here you're gonna be on edge Keep because think about what you're coming from boot camp. So you're already like. Aye, aye, sir! Like, to every single person, you know, Drop relax. That. You're no longer in boot camp. You're no longer in recruit status. You still gotta have that, but you can it, dial it down. It's a military switch. You gotta know when to flick it on. You gotta know when to flick it off. That was pretty impressive how I did it with my finger. That's pretty scary. Um, yeah, so... So, anyway. Literally, they put me against the wall, and I had this one kid going up. What's your rate? Huh? No, you ain't crap. What's your rate? Huh? 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 All right, cool. You're an AO. And I'm like... Oh my gosh. And then here comes the next one right after him. Here comes the next one right after him. Like it's all everybody's trying to do is just punk you. Don't let it happen. He comes to me and he's like, what's your rate? I stared him up and down. I'm like, get out of my face. Go away. He's like, what's your rate? Hey, yo. Hey, man. I owe you. This is what I'm talking about. I was like, don't touch me. <laughs> like, regardless, head. don't let no one punk you. Like, people are gonna be trying to scare Pikachu you. Said no. <laughs> Pikachu said no. Pikachu said no, Dad. Geez, so don't, let, don't let people screw with you. That's all I'm gonna try and Pikachu. do. Pikachu. All right, you're gonna be assigned a room. So tell them about you being assigned a room. Me? Yeah, tell them about being assigned a room. No, no, all right, it sucks. <laughs> Essentially, it sucks. Yeah, if you're not in a uh, Alpha or Bravo rack, Alpha rack, Bravo rack. If you're assigned to the Charlie rack, you don't don't impact anything. Just get your seat in the that. locker because you're going to be moving here within a week. Now you're going to be leaving your roommates and going off to some other room, probably on a different floor or even a different wing of the building. Like I was, I was, I was his roommate. So he he got the Bravo rack, and I got the Charlie rack because he got here well a couple hours before me or just a few me? hours, yeah, a couple hours. So that's the whole difference. So I was a Charlie rack. I had to literally live out of my sea bag. I would have to dig all the way to the bottom. Get what I needed, put all my crap right back in, and walk it all back up. Yeah, so you put fresh man every time we got into the Yeah. Me and Ani Lando, we didn't have to deal with that because. Watch the fan. <laughs> I got Alpha Rack as soon as I got here. <laughs> so, who got Alpha Rack? Don't unpack anything. Uh, Trap. Yo. In the classes and the whole briefing and. Uh, so, when you guys uh, finally get. Uh, not necessarily settled in, but when you guys start your first official week here at NATSE, uh, you're gonna go through what's called uh, in-doc life skills classes. That's pretty much, gonna, you know, they're teaching you, you know, what to do and what not to do with your money. Don't blow it on 
you know, buying an Xbox One and a big old flat screen TV right off the jump. Or buying a car. Or, or buying a car. Well, I mean, you can't do that until face three anyway. Yeah, so. but still, like, don't But, do you know, they're, they're going to teach you how to, you know, smartly use your money while here while you're here. Uh, they're going to teach you how to be an adult. Yeah. Don't go to Wendy's and Panda Express every day at the Nags because you already pay three hundred dollars a month for the galley. So make a lot of money anyone. <laughs> That's a lot of money anyone. I'm rich anyone. So, anyways, <laughs> not getting sidetracked anymore. Um, just you know, when you guys get here, you know, be smart about your money. Pay attention when you're going through the indoc classes and all your briefings and everything. Yes, it's going to be boring as all get out. I fell asleep three or four times throughout the first brief, but you know, that's just, that was just me. But, you know, then, you know, come Friday, come the last day of your NDOC, <laughs> GG. Come the last day of your, uh, your, uh, your NDOC classes and briefings, you're gonna go through what's called the triad brief. That's when they get the commanding officer, which is Captain Decker, the executive officer, which is Commander Myers, and the command master chief, uh, command master chief Galvin. You know, all of them are going to come in and they're, you know, they're going to tell you, you know, about being on liberty, you know, being smart. If you're underage, don't drink. You know, if you're of age, drink responsibly. Follow the 00013 rule, which is zero drinking and driving, zero drinks on duty, zero drinks underage, one drink an hour, three drink maximum, you know, the normal stuff. But, you know, just... Most importantly, if you're going to take anything away, just, you know, remember that when you're here, you've got brothers and sisters that will watch your back. You know, you don't you don't have to fight it alone, which means technically, if you are of age, you can't go to Portside without a Liberty Buddy, so. You have, you have to have somebody. Yeah, you have to have a Liberty Buddy if you're going to go off base or if you're going to go to Portside. So that's nice just, you know. It's a nice feeling to have somebody to watch your back. Yeah. Talk about uh, phasing up. Talk about phasing up. Ah, oh, phasing up. Man. Yeah. We got so, phase two. <laughs> Almost. Oh, yeah, Hopefully. I hadn't even checked yet. <laughs> I'm gonna lie, I shut See, up. the only reason that I'm in civilian clothes and then you got this dude right here who's in peanut butters. I mean, these two right there, right here, they're in You can be in civilian clothes. clothes in your room. Yeah, in your room you can be in civvies, but once Ooh, you like, civvies? go outside, then you have to be in, you know, the uniform of the day for your liberty, which your phase one, it's in SUs. Which, yeah, it's gonna suck because, you know, when you're a boot camp, you're like, yeah, I can't wait to put on my NS shoes. I can't wait to put on my NS shoes. And then you finally put them on, you're like, God, I want to get out of these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it gets annoying real quick. Yep, the only reason I haven't faced up yet is because I screwed up, and uh, one of our petty <laughs> officers, he uh, decided that I didn't shave, so he gave me a red mark on my SDR, and now i got to restart 14 days so I'm Which, to face up again. By the way, so you have like duty days. I'm gonna tack on to what he just said. So you have duty days. Days you're supposed to like muster and then clean the barracks, like barracks support type stuff. Not bad. So apparently, apparently he didn't shave, which he could have skated on by because. No, uh, eighty-one decided I didn't shave. Oh, uh, it was eighty-one. Uh, it was someone else I talked to that they shaved, but they're like, "Oh dang, they just went off of what I said." He's like, "So I had integrity. I mean, should have integrity, but whatever." So he got screwed up from that. So it was like seven in the morning, whatever. I woke oh. up. My mom would call me. I talked to my mom for that. I'm just sitting here doing nothing. This kid knocks on the door, I'm going to open the door, and he's like, Hey, are you Pereira? I'm like, Yeah. He's like, Oh, what duty section are you? I was like, I'm duty section one. He goes, Oh, do you know what duty section it is today? I was like, Duty section two. He goes, Okay, so why are you not down there with everybody else right now? I'm like, That's what you just said. I'm duty section one, and it's a duty section two day. Why would I be down there? He's like, Oh, because you have to do a turnover for the next duty section. Everybody's literally done that with me. Roger that. So I throw on all my clothes. I didn't, sh <laughs> I didn't shave or nothing. I ran down there, and there's you a whole line of people. He's like one of the first ones. I'm like, so, mm. I was like, no, I didn't shave, bro. I was like already late. I didn't think about it. I was out the door, bro. So I get in the back of the line where they're all at. So you have a formation here, formation here. Then you have this line by like the doors, and he's in it. And I like get to the back of the line. I'm like, hey, what's this line for? And like no one will talk to me. So he like he leaves. And I go to the next person. I'm like, hey man, what's this line for? He's like. Oh, uh, the MTIs pulled all of us out of formation because we didn't shave. I was like, so everybody in this line got pulled out by an MTI? And he's like, yeah. I was like, shit, I didn't get pulled out of line. <laughs> so I ran to the back of the formation. Everybody's like all yelling at me. They're like, oh, you piece of crap. I'm like, yeah, I know, piece of crap. Wait. I get in the back. I, 
I feel so bad, bro. I skated on by. I didn't get in trouble. I didn't get a red mark. I didn't get nothing. Should have got a red mark. For yeah, sure, I should have got all my, all my friends from my division from boot camp, they're like, yo, I screwed up. You should have got a red mark. They're like, yo, you're late as crap. I was like, I skated on by. <laughs> Okay, if you're gonna be late, make like at least be late in a proper uniform, clean shaven, because they're already gonna be mad at you. But at least be late but looking good and on sharp, so they're not gonna be like, "Look, you're even late and you're not even proper uniform, you're not even shaven." So that's my thing. So like, tell them about like, so like red marks and like your your face cards and all that. How that works. Oh yeah. So as soon as you get here for those in doc classes, you're also gonna be given this little. Have like these few pages and you got to do these wash balls and you got to do two sets of inspections with the, the peanut butter ones the ones he's wearing and then two nws the camouflage ones and they got to and the dress whites and dress whites whatever you done, yeah whatever season is what, like time of year well by the time that anybody <laughs> watching this video comes here and then it'll be yeah. after december 1st so right the blues, yeah. Yeah, yeah it'll transition to blues and sleeves down uh, wow. so. Oh yeah, but um, yeah. From there, you gotta do those inspections twice just to see if, because they want to make sure you know how to properly wear it, and so you can stand the watch and looking sharp because they don't want you to look like a hot mess. And uh, and then you gotta shadow a few watches. You got the quarter deck watch, and this is all in your face. Shadow it twice. Yeah, you gotta shadow the derby stuff. Quarter deck watch, the liberty log, the back checker. I mean, you can shadow fire security. Here, so. Yeah fire and security, internal rollover, and then there's external, and then at the Mega building, where you're gonna be at, like, first day you get to A school, um, first week, pretty much, because you're gonna be doing your classes. Oh yeah, that's true, so you'll get familiar with that real quick. Uh, they, they have phone soccer, those are mainly just for females, but you still gotta learn it, don't know why, but it is what it is. And then also another quarter deck guy there, and that's about it. I mean, you gotta shout out everything twice, and theoretically, you can get it all done, in, Two to three days, honest. I'm you just gotta stay on top of it. I'm gonna just tell you this: don't do what we did. Do not. I repeat: do not wait till the last second to get. It's so out. easy to wait till the last minute. Honest, <laughs> it's not a good thing. No, because we got like all of our stuff done like last, last night. night. We didn't get it done and turned in. And like, if you're like late on doing your stuff, you can get EMI, which is you. You know it the best. What's EMI? Uh, EMI is uh, extra military instruction. Um, when you do EMI, you pretty much have to stand a lot more watches. Um, you'll have to stand those watches in your dress whites, and that's pretty much signifying to the entire bear that, hey, I'm an SB because I didn't do my watch calls in time. Everybody pay attention to me because I apparently want to be an individual. And also, you get back from class or whatever, you want to. Oh, they're about to call Liberty. I want to go on Liberty. No, no, you're not going on Liberty. You're going to stand a two-hour watch in dress whites before you're allowed to go on Liberty. So it's just, it's a pain in the neck. So it's just not even worth the risk. So that's my suggestion. Get it done um, quick. So you're going to get like these little, you're going to get like these little face cards. So like, if you get like lib log infractions, like if you forget to sign back in or cack back in, because whenever yeah. you go out somewhere, like, I'm gonna go to the next, I'm gonna buy myself stuff or whatever, like clothes or food or whatever. You gotta sign out, sign out where you're going and all that. That's and only also, during Liberty, but. But yeah, so during Liberty, you gotta cack out and things like that. So when you come back, if you don't cack back in or you don't sign back in, live lock infraction, so that's a red mark. So it takes 14, yeah, 14 days to go from phase one, that which one is the yellow card. So in order to go from phase one to phase two, you get 14 days in between. So you get a red mark like on your 14th day or your 13th day. If you haven't already phased up, you're going to restart with the yep. bang in your face. Yep. And that's also, that's another thing about EMI is if you do get EMI, that sets you back to day one, phase one. So you, if you're phase three, like let's say you're phase two and you're you know only a couple hours away from phasing up. Well, if you got EMI, Kiss it all goodbye because you're going straight from phase two back to phase one, day one, which means that you have to start the entire process over again. And you're only here for at most maybe two months, depending on how fast you class up. And your rate and schooling. Exactly. That's pretty bad. Like this dude, he's probably going to be here for a while. Mm -hmm. He's going to be so, here for a minute. 
Yeah, he's he's definitely gonna be here for a minute. We're gonna be out. Like, I'm I'm sorry. Like, I, I just got here and I'm already leaving in three weeks. So. Him too, because he's in my class. Ayo, ayo, ayo. I'm not a PR. It's not calling me that. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. PR, public relations? Yeah, public relations. I'm not a public relations. Don't Who y'all public relations? I thought I was a yeah. parachute rigger. What am I been talking about? <laughs> no. So, anyways. Um, He's not an AO. It's hard to keep track. All right. Uh, I'm talking about Galley. So, Galley. So Who much better than Boot Camp Galley. Huh? You mean that? No. Okay, that. Oh, me that. All right. Sidetrack. Let's start throwing that. So, the Galley. Galley is so much better than Boot Camp. Um, so, the way the Galley works is. You get cheese. cheeseburgers! Cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers and burgers. Okay. Side, side um, so you you're gonna go ice cream. You're gonna go oh, there yeah, a lot of ice and you're gonna show them your orders, they're gonna verify your orders, you're signed and all that. You're gonna keep your orders Chocolate literally, cake! Literally in your wallet. Chocolate cake. And then you also have to like, <laughs> you also have to like use your cap card, so that's how they like they know like who all they're feeding. So literally they're gonna be taking like three hundred dollars out of your paycheck. Or not out of your paycheck, but they're gonna you're paying three hundred dollars a month to eat the galley, so you're more inclined to eat in the galley and not go. You can away. even get seconds, but you just gotta wait a little bit. You have to wait until yeah. 15 minutes before meal time ends. But if you want to get like extra French fries or you know little extra like baked beans or something like that, then you yeah. can go back anytime that you want. Yeah. But it's only for you know like actual entrees, like the hamburgers, yeah. cheeseburgers, like hot dogs. You know, stupid crap like that. You gotta yeah. wait 15 minutes before the end, but like before they close up in order to get it. Mm-hmm. So the galley opens up with like. 5.30 in the morning. Yeah, 5.30. And then, so for breakfast, it closes at, what, 9? Mm-hmm. 9. <sighs> for lunch, it opens at 11. Pepsi. Pepsi. What time's, what time's lunch from? Um, lunch and dinner. 11 to 13. 11 to 13. So 11 to 1. See, you already messed And then dinner's from, I want to say, 5? Dinner is from 16 is to 19. 19 so, yeah. yeah. So from 4 to 7. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad. Shit, um, schedule right there. I know. Yeah. What do you think of granted? Whatever. 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 We're blind. Whatever. Yeah, they're gonna give you. Like, I'm blind. Like, so I'm the one wearing glasses. Back to Indoc. <laughs> back to Indoc. You're gonna also when you get to your room, you're gonna have like this thing you gotta read, and you gotta have a student handout. You gotta like read and know all of this because when you're done with all of your balls, we forgot to mention this. When you're done with all of your balls, you have to go and take a test, a handwritten test, then oral, then an oral board. Every yeah. answer is B. Don't tell them that, because then there's going to be that one person who's an AO who's actually stupid, <laughs> and he's going to answer it all. Yeah, AOs aren't stupid. It's not real. Don't, don't answer B. AOs, AOs aren't going to fall for Yes, that. we are. We are stupid. Yeah, all we know is one, two, three, left. Y'all would. Well, I'm saying we can't count past Mine. three. Mud. 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 That's a G-Dubs thing. Like, Lincoln yeah. goes, ligga, 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 ligga. Ugh. And then we Maybe like, they're just quiet, so we don't really special. care about them. And then the Rosies, special. of course, yeah. Yeah, we're not going to get into that. No, that's a whole other video. That's, that's a whole other video about yeah. the Rosies. Ugh. That's, all that's where the should, girls are. Let's just say they're the base favorites. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. That's a word. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a word. <laughs> quiet. Ah, never mind. Nah, 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 oh, they did this the best. They did this the best. They did this the best. But we have a cool chant. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They get a trophy! Yeah, like, Rosie. What? And for no reason at all, have a trophy. I don't understand that. And the CMC promotion. wanted us to do the whole thing, too. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't the, understand that. The CMC that. and the CO, they both started going mine during the what? Barracks of the what? Month battle. What? What? And they wanted us to do it. Oh, like, but no, he wanted us to secure stop. that. Yeah, they, 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 he they, they, secured they, us from doing that. He's so. like, no, nah, hey, thing, bro. <laughs> See, I'm seeing. Oh, but it's, but, it's, but it's cool for you know the Lincoln Bears to still go. Liggy, 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 liggy. That sounds dumb. So, Mickey, anyways, I'm um, creative. <laughs> Travis. Mickey. So, Travis, after class and during Liberty, what all is there to do on base here at Nancy? Uh, there's multiple things to do here. At Natsy, when you're on Liberty, we have the basketball court, and we also have a recreational gym for fitness, uh, which is also attached to a uh, Twin Cinemas movie theater, which, by the way, cheap movies. Four dollars. Four dollars? I thought it was two dollars. That's four. Four dollars. We okay, so four dollars, four dollar movies. You can't beat that. You go out to you go out to town to watch a movie, and it's going to cost you. 30 bucks. 40, 50, 60, 100,000, 100, dollars your left arm and your first baby, you know. <laughs> and then it's right here and on base. Over. So like Yeah, and it's and right here. Like literally we're here at the G dubs. I can walk five minutes north 
and I can hit the movie theater. There you go. I said it, everything's within walking distance. So you know, there's there's multiple things to do here. You have uh, the USO, which is you know maybe a 15 minute walk from I've here. I've never been to the USO. USO oh, is great. lit. Yeah, awesome. The USO is lit. They make you free food. Yeah. Like going. like dead ass. They make We're you free food. Now, Travis, what like what do we do if we like miss Chow? Uh, if you miss Chow, you know there are. Hungry. There are specified vendors that are allowed to come on and off base. Uh, vendor or uh, vendor waiter, uh, wing zone. There's a bunch of other people that you know will bring you Pizza food. Hut. Yeah. Pizza oh, Hut, Domino's, Domino's, Papa John's. Papa John's. You know, yeah, Papa John's. What else is there to eat on base? I haven't had Papa John's. Uh, there's Papa also John's. at the next. There's Wendy's, Panda Express, Subway, some coffee uh, shop, Taco, Taco Loco. I have a Starbucks. Watch Call Horror Board. <laughs> but uh, the, with, if you don't feel like going to Wendy's or any of the fast food joints around here, you don't feel like ordering Waiter, which will cost you 20 bucks. the next is loaded stock full of groceries. Pizza rolls. Pizza rolls, pizza bagels, French frozen bread pizza, pizza frozen pizza. You're going to get fat here if you yeah. don't. If you it's don't like, work, it's like a little fat. mini mart. It's like, like no joke, I, when, I, when I left... When I left uh, RTC, I weighed 206 pounds. I got yeah. here, I weighed myself for the first time after being here for like a week, and I shot back up to 211 pounds. Yeah, yeah. I got fat. <laughs> it makes me want to go run. Um, you know, back on the topic, you know, you guys can go on PT on Liberty. Um, it's real fun. If you're going to PT and you're going to be in PT gear, it's got to be the full PT uniform. Uh, Hang on. Baby, Aaron Baugh. No. Aaron Baugh. Nobody cares about Aaron uh, Baugh. He's duty section three. He no. Sucks. I gotta hit you with a double tap. I apologize, but since you're the only one that's been out, what's there to do out in town when we phase up to phase two? Uh, things to do out on right, town. Let me correct myself. You can also go out in town in phase one. I apologize. Yes, but you, you just have to worry about it. Um, things that you can do out on town. Uh, there's multiple places. You know, like arcade places. Uh, there's go kart places, bowling, mini golf if you know the season allows it. Um, there's tattoo parlors that you can go to. Like I actually got mine done. I got I got this one done uh, about two weeks ago. No, not even a minute. Probably about a week and a half ago. And you know I got it from uh, Gulf Coast Tattoo. Shout out to them because who yeah. Um, I'm actually uh, gonna take Aaron this weekend at some point to uh, go get a consultation done for his tattoo. Who we got tattoos? Who we got back tattoos? Um, you it's know, gonna be a SpongeBob. If you're of age and you feel like getting one, you know, make sure you do your research beforehand. Um, the reason I went to Gulf, the reason I chose Gulf Coast is because my old roommate before Aaron got here, uh, my old roommate he went and got one, and it came out Aaron. super clean. Hey, hey, Ron. Sorry. We need to be all technical about it. Sorry. Um, but anyway, there's there's multiple things that you can do uh, off base as well as on base. You know, you just have to look at, you know, what's going on around there's the no area. There's places. It's disappointing. Like, what? There's no calendar. There's no food bar. There's nothing. There's, uh, <laughs> bu there's Buckle B at the mall. Really? Yeah. Oh. Which, actually, I'm going to the mall on Saturday. What a coincidence, because so am I with you. No, I'm Oh, no. But anyway, uh, <laughs> like multiple things to do here on base. <laughs> like uh, I got to study for the that. FWR and the USO, they constantly have events going on uh, here on base and as well as off base. There's multiple volunteer opportunities, which you guys will hear all about that when you go through your NDOC briefing. Uh, you'll, you'll learn about CSAD, which is constructive your constructive sailors against destructive decisions or some shit like that. I don't fuck. Who y'all staying out of trouble? Yeah, just when you're here, don't do anything stupid. Don't, don't go into dumpsters. <laughs> if you're of age and you can drink and you're going to go to portside, do it responsibly. Don't end up in the dumpster and then wake up in the morning and go to captain's mass. Ooh, with two other people. Way to with two other them. people. Yeah, yeah we're in the dumpster. We actually had that happen. Two, three people got busted for doing something that they shouldn't have been doing in the dumpster behind Horseye. That's right, gambling. No, they were playing loud checkers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say they were making some sheet music. 
And I'll leave it at that. Right hand green. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys. Why? <laughs> um, to be smart. Don't do anything stupid. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's really all I got for you. I mean, if you hit, listen, it's going to happen. You guys and girls on base, listen. If you're phase three, you can stay out in town. Don't yeah. give them any ideas. Let them I'm figure just it saying, out on their own. They're just saying, have if ideas. Gonna, if let them figure it out on their own. I'm just saying, though. Like, okay, let them figure I'm it out. I'm potentially helping someone out with some shit. I'm just saying, if you're going to do anything, out. do it smart. Do it smart. Do it off base where you can't get caught. Yeah, there's free know. rubbers about getting at caught. medical, by the way. <laughs> yeah, there's free rubbers at medical. Yeah. So, so get them more, like grab your tool, keep your pipe off Skype. Yeah, but don't waste money at the next getting them. They're free. Man. Yeah, they're free. They're free and just walk I'm out. kidding. I'm kidding. There's like a salad bowl. Yeah, they're, they're, actually, they're actually free and medical. Really? Yeah. yeah. I had to go and do my urinalysis today for class, which you guys will probably have to do that next I week. I did. No, you guys will have to probably do it again next week. Uh, it's, uh, for, it's for, it's for, uh, I've got to pull twice. Everybody in aviation ordinance has to do it. Yeah. Oh well. I mean, that would be good. Like you, like sorry, you remember? Oh yeah, you'll have to do your analysis while you're in indoc status, mm -hmm. and then if your rate is AO, <laughs> as soon as you get ready to end phase three, guess what? You guys are gonna have to do another one. I just had to go and do my second one today. It felt really weird. Yeah, I got two last week. For some reason, I'm a huge drug user. Oh, you gotta drink water and don't pee in the morning. <laughs> No, 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 no. I made that mistake today and I was dan I was going to pee pee dance all the way to medical while I was marching my class. I was like, all right, let's go, come on, we gotta get there fast, gotta get there fast. Double time, let's go. Moment of purpose. Finally got there and I had to sit through a 15 minute briefing from the corpsman who was letting us know how everything was gonna work. I was like, yeah, 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 wipe it off, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> no, like, no joke. The road. Let's like, go. no joke. Like, no joke. They give you a moist alcohol towelette that you have to rub the tip of your hoo ha with. What? Yes. yes. I never yeah. had to do that. that. And, yeah, and it's like, it's called the midstream catch. So you have to, you have to piss into the toilet for like one to two seconds, and then you have to stick the container up underneath of it. You have to catch it midstream. Ugh. All right, so <laughs> so anyway, back to uh, back to what we were talking about before. Be smart, get rubber free at the uh, at the medical building, and uh, yeah, go on. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on so PT. I'm talking about PT. You said ten minute video. This is going on like fifteen minutes. Hey, so. We're trying to yeah, end about like twenty seven. We're wrapping up. Yeah, three minutes. Uh, it said twenty seven minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Is it really? Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, right. Let's wrap it up. No, it's funny what happens when we don't get sidetracked. I know. And then we start getting sidetracked. That's insane. Okay. Okay. Three so PT, so uh, we did our first PT today. It was Not that bad. It wasn't that bad. It depends on what group you were in. Like, our group got to stay a little bit. Uh, we, like, flipped the tires. Our heavy as crap. We, like, did a bunch of stuff. And when you're done, like, you lose. Like, you race another uh, squad, flipping tires. We do all kinds squad. of stuff. We if do, you lose, you have to do push-ups on the tire. Yeah. And then burpees. No, that was some bit like we won every time and they still made us do it. It was it was a <laughs> sucks for you guys. Maybe like the channel one um Jackson? Yeah, I think so. The uh, intense one with the mustache? Yes. The new one? Yeah. Uh, A1 Jackson. One over the black shirt. Yeah, that's A one Jackson. He's cool. He's tough, but he's cool. Um, he for, is for, fair but honest. This is true. For me, uh, like the hardest thing we did today. It's probably the logs. So like they like give you like team building exercises with logs where you practice like if you were carrying ordnance, like if you were in a squadron. So like they simulate like you're carrying this freaking huge bomb with like five other people. So one of the instructors was like, they they get you on like high land essentially. So everybody that's like the same height, you're gonna be carrying a log. Everybody that's the same height, that's super tall, you're gonna be carrying the same log. So I was with the short people, obviously. I love you. And then so they were like, shut up about you being hungry, guys. I am. So I told you, I'll give you some money. We're and they make us like lift it up. And, get some and prior to this, I was in like in the center. And he follow. pulled me out and he put me in the back of the log. And I was like, okay, it can't be that bad. He's like, hey man. He specifically was talking to me. He's like, you feel like you're gonna drop this log? You need to let me know so I can intervene. That way you don't kill everybody. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, he was freaking me out for a minute. I was like, all right, whatever. It can't be that bad. And they're like, lift log. They lifted the log, and everybody else lifted the log, and then my hand just went straight into my forehead. I had like 80% of the weight of the entire freaking log. I'm sitting there like, oh my gosh, dude, it hurt so bad. It was so freaking heavy. I'm sitting there like, and it's just indenting in my skull, and I'm trying so hard to like not kill everybody. And he's like, 
you good? And I'm like, yeah, hey, uh, he's like, all right. I'll be back at some point. I'm like, huh? He goes, he's like, he's instructing everybody else. He comes back. Uh, it was terrible. It was heavy. Workout was, I mean, it was good, but it was like, it, it was tough. AOs were held to like the highest standard here. Basically, but, um, everything. We got already tech. We got already tech. In short, yeah, I am. in short, Ew. <laughs> A school is like, A school is like college. It's, it's pretty fun. So you are going to have a blast. Um, that's pretty much it to wrap up the video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment. We're going to answer them, and we'll give you all the best advice. Or hit this dude up on Facebook. Why not? No, don't do that. Yeah, just go ahead. Go yeah, back. definitely hit him up on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. They don't have my name. Oh, it's on my YouTube channel. Aaron Pereira. Aaron. Aaron. So we're going we're gonna to wrap this video up right now. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever, Same however right. YouTube works. But Post a picture uh, of a Pikachu in the comment section because Stop why it. not? No Pikachu, no Pikachu. Yes, yes Pikachu. No, 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 no. Yes, Pikachu. 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 It's Pepsi. Pepsi. Um, so we're going to wrap it up with this super, Pepsi. super intense elevator music. <laughs> Sounds like a Mr. Rogers out there. So, uh, I know for those of you that were wondering, this is gonna be your Charlie. Charlie. Hey, I'll give you some money real quick. So, I'm gonna give you all front door, alpha, locker. Show my closet. I'm not showing your closet. Bravo, locker. Charlie, why would you even? It's pretty much the room. Room is a mess right now. It's pretty crazy. You have your bathroom. All your stuff, whatever. Pretty straightforward. Door unlocks from either side. If you're in the bathroom going poop. Oh no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Psych. They can just walk right in on you. Bathroom, pretty standard. Keep the doors open pretty much at all times when you're showering. Uh, yeah, I flipped the light. There it goes at some point. Literally, bathroom connects, connects to the next room. Which is where he's at. That's his room. So that's pretty much the room. I mean, it's, it's pretty dope. A little, but you make it work. Oh, what am I doing? But yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, give us whatever comments, questions you guys have, and we'll be sure to answer them. Peace.